Shalom. Welcome. I just wanted to get on here and give a quick lesson, a quick word from the Most High to the nation of Israel, us Israelites all over the world. We need to focus on the Most High. We need to stop being distracted by silly things, things that are not important. We need to stop making excuses. We need to fully serve the Most High Yah. We need to stop putting other things and people before Him. Because when we do that, that is when we get frustrated and why we can't seem to figure out why things aren't going our way. It's because we don't put the Most High first. We put Him on a back burner until we think we need Him. But the truth of the matter is we always need Him. Every minute, every second of every day. We need the Most High. And so it's time for us to stop playing games. We got to get serious, guys. These times are only going to get worse. Especially for the heathens and the two-thirds. You don't want to be a part of them. So you need to make sure you are right spiritually with the Most High. It is time for us to stop living in a bondage mindset. We are no longer in bondage. The number 20 means redemption and expectancy. It is time for us to expect greatness. It is our time to be redeemed from the oppression of the enemy. It is time for us to speak those things into existence. The Bible says that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Don't you know that everything is spiritual? We need to manifest it in the spirit realm, speak it in the spirit realm in order to see it manifest in the natural So what I'm saying to you is, I'm just going to get straight to the point. We need to come together as a nation and stop being divided over silly things. We need to come together as a fast. We need to fast. I know we can't all fast on the same day at the same time, but whoever's hearing this message, if you can do this, if you can spread the word to your other Israelites, Within the next five days, pick any day within the next five days and fast. Be it for five hours or be it for the whole day. Be it from sun up till sundown. That's between you and the Most High, but it needs to be a sincere, genuine fast. Undistracted, not with your phone, not with TV, not with worldly music, not with um, your family or, or, or friends. Fast with just you and the Most High. We need to fast and pray that this war that's happening right now with these countries involving Magog, we need to pray that this intensifies for these heathens so that these heathens can be destroyed. Let them destroy each other. The Most High is using them to destroy each other. And in the process, we hit Hebrew Israelites to get our freedom. He's going to lift us up as he brings them down low. So we need to pray, not that this war ends, not for peace in that country, Ukraine. We need to pray for turbulence and death and destruction for our heathens. Just the way that David prayed for death and destruction for his enemies. We see all throughout history, when they war against each other, less of them for us. We prosper. So you need to pray and fast. We need to come together within the next five days and fast one day, two days, however many days the Most High puts in your spirit, whatever you can do as a nation, as the one third, as the true Hebrew Israelites. We need to come together and be on one accord with each other and most of all, one accord with the Most High. 
another thing we need to do, we need to remember how to pray. We need to, women, when you pray, make sure that you are covering your hair. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. Make sure, women, when you are praying, to always cover your hair with some type of a scarf or um, if you don't have a scarf, a hat or um, a blanket, when you pray, find something that you can use to cover your hair when you're praying, females. That's only for the females, for the women of Israel. And another thing is when we pray, make sure we, it's best for us to pray outside. So our words, our words have power. Our words are alive. Remember, the Most High spoke a word and everything came into existence. Words are not just words. Words have vibrations. Words have frequencies. Words uh, create. They have power. They do things. So when we pray, we may we need to be praying uh, outside or pray uh, to the window with the window open. So our prayers, so our words go out into the atmosphere and manifest. We should make sure that we are decreeing. Speaking those things that we desire into existence. Cursing down our enemies. Speaking blessings over our lives and our gener- future generations of Israel. Over our children, our future children, our grandchildren, our great grand, and so on and so forth. Open your window and speak these words into the atmosphere. Or stand on your porch, stand in your backyard, pray. Speak these words into the atmosphere. Our words have power. The Bible says that we are gods. And we are. I know people might think that's blasphemy. We are gods. We are not God. But we are gods. Simply for the fact that our Father is God. And for those of you who are understanding quite what it means. um, If a black woman and a black man have a baby. Their children are black. If a horse has a baby, it's what? A horse. If a rabbit has a baby, it's a rabbit. You understand what I'm saying? So because the most we are the most highest children, we are gods. Scripture says it right there. He made us a little lower than the angels. We have powers. We have abilities that we need to tap into spiritually and mentally. We are not on his level, but we are God's. We have his DNA. We have the God DNA in us because we are his chosen people. We are his children. We have the God gene in us, black people. That's why they fear us. That's why they hate us. That's why they kill us. You think they don't know that we are not like them? We get our power and our energy from the sun. We're White people get burned by the sun. They can't handle the sun. They use all types of creams and modifications just to go outside and still can't go outside. We absorb our rays, our gamma rays, our powers from the sun, from the most high. That's why we are the only people on earth who hair grows up, grows up to the most high eye. Our hair praises the most high. Where everyone else has hair that falls down to the ground. And it's time for us to do research and tr- find out who we really are. Not just use the Bible. okay? Because you got to remember the Bible has a lot of things that were taken out of things that were added in. It is time for us to get out of our comfort zone and open our minds to other information concerning our genetic DNA, our genetic code. Because there's so much they haven't told us and they're not going to tell us. We have to figure it out for ourselves. So all I'm saying is we need to fast. Within the next five days, we need to come together and do a fast and pray Hard, harder than we've ever prayed. Pray for the the destruction of the heathen nations. 
Speak those destructions into existence for them. Speak blessings for us Israelites. Speak blessings. Those, those desires of your hearts. Speak them into existence. That you shall have that home you desire. You shall have that car you desire. You shall have that husband um, that you've been waiting for. You shall have that wife that you've been waiting for. You shall have children that, that you've been waiting for. You shall have all the things that you desire because we are the children of the Most High. So we need to really be on one accord. Really need to focus, not stop all this petty arguments about uh, things that don't matter. There are a lot of fake YouTubers out there that call themselves Hebrew Israelites and they are not. They teach lies, especially these Hebrew Israelite camps. They teach nothing but lies and the Most High is exposing them every day. He's exposing these, these Hebrew Israelite camps. They're getting caught doing foolishness because this is the time of exposure which done in the dark shall come to the light these are no coincidences these are no accidents these are wicked israelite camps and the most high is bringing them to the light he ex exposes them for what they really are these are a lot of these hebrew israelites are agents agents for satan and they're trying to fool the true hebrew israelites they're trying to give them misinformation and lead them down the wrong path. And you may be really convinced and believe their teachings, but it's false. So you have to pray for discernment. Always test the spirit. Okay? You have to really do research for yourself. Don't just believe everything everybody says. Do research for yourselves. It is time for us to Stop being divided and wasting our time on things that don't matter. It's time to store up food. It's time to... And I, when I say store up food, I'm not saying out of fear. I'm saying be smart, be prepared. Just the way the Most High gave Joseph that revelation. He gave Pharaoh the dreams of the seven fat cows and the seven lean cows. He warned them seven years in advance. And he told Joseph to store up food for seven years. So seven years he had time to store up and, pre and prepare because a famine was coming. Whether they believed it or not, whether they wanted it to come or not, whether they liked it or not, the famine was coming. The Most High warned them, gave them all the signs, gave them the vision, gave them time to prepare. And that's what's happening right now. The signs of famine are right in our faces. We see it on the news. We see it when we go to grocery shopping. Food inflation, we see it. Whether you choose to do something about it is entirely up to you. If your family starves because you were too foolish to prepare, that's on you. So all I'm saying is right now while we have time, a little time because we don't have a lot of time. While you have a little time, store up food, supplies, medical supplies, uh, hygiene supplies, whatever it is that you and your family needs, medicine, uh, inhalers, uh, uh, whether it be oxygen tanks or diabetes, insulin, medicine, whatever it is, store it up right now. Make some sacrifices. Maybe skip out on a couple of bills here and there to get these things. Uh, just pray for wisdom on what to do. The Most High will lead you. He will always lead you, right? But now is the time to store up. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is not going away. Look at gas prices going up. Even If you have to buy gas cans and store up gas someplace safe, all I'm saying is use wisdom, figure it out, and pray. Because there is not much time left. Because when you think you're going to do it in three months or or whatever, you may not have that long. Okay? So all I'm saying is we need to get serious spiritually, mentally. 
just really get serious. We need to stay prayed up. You know, I mean, that's all I really have to say and just stay focused on the most high. He has already worked it out. He has already worked out that situation. He needs you to do, to do your part. That's it. You need to do your part and he will always do his. So remember, you know, if we want our prayers to really be blessed and to be heard, you know, women, like I said, cover your hair. You Israelite women, we, we need to cover our hair when we pray. Um, and like I said, open that window, pray, put your words out there, project them into the atmosphere. Stand outside and pray if you can. Um, uh, I even heard that praying in the water, standing in water, like when you're in the shower, taking a bath, or um, if you're near a beach somewhere, standing in water, even just putting your feet in the water, speaking to the atmosphere. We are from the earth. We are connected to the earth. We are elemental. We can. We have authority and power over everything on the earth. Remember, we are gods. Okay? Don't ever forget that. We are gods because we are children of a god. The god. The only god. The most high Yah. We have his DNA. We are his children. We are more powerful than we realize. That is why they force these vaccines on us so they can dim and uh, keep our powers dormant they want us to get all types of foolery vaccines shots and medicine pills and this no sir no ma'am no ham not taking that stuff no longer i'm woke not putting that poison in my body gotta cleanse your mind you can't you can't open your mind to your true abilities from the Most High Yah, if you are filled with alcohol and drugs and pills and vaccines and all types of foolery, that stuff clouds your mind. It clouds your. It blocks your spirit. It puts your powers back to sleep, makes them dormant. So we need to wake up. We need to do research. We need to learn how to pray. You know, face the east. Um, you know, do what we need to do. Do as much as we can. He understands that we are limited in some things that we can do, but do as much as you can. Do your part. And trust me, believe in your words. Believe that the Most High will answer them, and they shall come to pass. You have to have faith. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Not only do you have to have faith, but you got to put that work in. Make the necessary steps and arrangements. So family, I just want to say thank you for listening. Stay blessed. I hope you share this message. Uh, tell other people. Uh, really encourage other people. Share this information to other Hebrew Israelites. So we can progress as a nation. So I say thank you. Stay blessed. And shalom.